Hi everyone. This is Carrie Sanford. I'm just uh, giving you a quick overview of the syllabus in this video. Um, the uh, usually I do this at the beginning of the year. I'll just take uh, a little bit less than 10 minutes to go over the content of the syllabus with you. Um, I like to look at some of the important points. Certainly we will revisit a few things a number of times and uh, the, it's possible that there will be some small changes to the syllabus um, that the information on Moodle uh, might exceed the information on, on the syllabus or vice versa. Um, still making sure you've got all information that you need uh, as we move forward. So just to start with, uh, you have all of your class information um, on this document, including the time of the course. The place of the course, of course, is um, irrelevant at the moment. You have my address. Um, my office hours are posted on Moodle. Uh, already and you also have the contact information here for your tutorial leaders. Below there's a table with your tutorial leaders and which number tutorial uh, they are each teaching so you will find that below. Um, office hours once your teaching assistants have um, established their office hours they will let me know and let you know on the Moodle pages. Um, just a quick piece of information about the overview of the course. So this is an introductory course uh, for socio-legal studies and what you actually start to look at are a number of broad themes um, and substantive, substantive topics which means kind of grounded topics, examples of everyday life or events um, experiences and you will be introduced to interdisciplinary approaches to studying uh, these themes and topics which are all legal um, from different interdisciplinary perspectives or different disciplinary perspectives so socio-legal studies itself is an interdisciplinary uh, discipline an interdisciplinary area of study um, and while this is uh, required for all students in the Law and Society program, um, what it does is promote the interdisciplinary study of law uh, as culture. And no matter really what your career plans are, what your degree plans are, what your interests are, you'll certainly find um, nuggets of interest throughout this course. So the syllabus does also explain the structure of the course in terms of remote teaching and what that means for this course. So have a very careful look through the syllabus uh, and you will find where you will find the, uh, the course webpage, which is on eclass.yorku.ca. Uh, you have a couple of ways of getting help with uh, using your course page as well as um, different aspects of going online with the course. So one of the most important things that you do have to do is be prepared to use uh, Zoom for both the lecture and the tutorial components of the course. So you will find uh, much of the information including links to uh, your Zoom lectures in this course. Uh, but what you will end up having to do is um, go to the York page and uh, find the link for zoom.us and if you like also download the application on your computer. Uh, you can also download the application on your phone if you find that that's useful for you. Um, but have a really very close look at the syllabus as well as the Moodle page once you get to it to um, really find out the information about how to get to the lectures themselves, including the lecture recordings or videos. 
So I will be having office hours in this course. There's information here. Um, you can have a look at the course objectives, which are um, listed here, as well as the kinds of skills that you will acquire in taking this course. So it is a fairly good transition from um, high school courses, if that's where you're coming from, into the academic world of post-secondary education. Um, and hopefully all of these skills you will actually have uh, um, enhanced a little bit by the end of this year as a result specifically of this course. Um, again, I give you a little bit more information about our weekly meetings, 12.30 to 2.30. Uh, you should plan to be online during those times because those I will be both providing um, uh, probably approximately 10 minute lecture videos, a number of them each week. Um, and I will also be present during that time online, at least half of that time, if not the entire time, both uh, to give you some of my own ideas in person, as well as to um, field questions uh, from you in the class about the content. Uh, once you get down a little bit further here, as I said, you have a list of your tutorials as well as your tutorial leaders and the time and day of your tutorials. So you can attach names to email addresses on the course page, uh, which I've ineptly labeled as Moodle here, which is now eClass. On the course page, you will both find a forum in which you will connect with your tutorial leader and those people in your tutorial each week, as well as uh, connect through Zoom. So you have a number of ways to communicate with them as well as myself. You have a list of the course requirements as well as the, the due dates um, and including the description of some of your requirements. More information will come out um, about uh, your midterm test as well as your article assignment for the time that I am online with you during our scheduled class time I usually do talk a fair bit about your midterm test and your final exam talk about examples of the kinds of questions that you will uh, encounter as well as ways to think about answering those questions so I do kind of help you throughout the term to do that uh, you also have some information about your tutorial participation. So 20% of your grade will come from your participation in tutorial. And that means being present in your tutorial, uh, engaging in the forum for your tutorial, um, and uh, responding to or participating in whatever, whatever kinds of activities your tutorial leader uh, decides to engage you with um, during that time. Uh, so you do also have some important information about how you are being evaluated on your written assignments in this course, uh, information about how to uh, reference and format your referencing and citations in your assignments. You also have some brief descriptions of the levels, the grade levels, once you receive a certain grade and you can understand a little bit more how you got that grade. Um, and some important dates for the term. Uh, and then you have your lecture, tutorial, and reading schedule. So dated per week, these are the readings. You will also be watching videos that will be posted on the course page uh, on specific weeks. And you will have links to those videos. Uh, it's both the readings and the videos that you should plan to do by that week in order to keep up with the content, not only the content, but the exchanges that you will have with me during any time during our lecture calls, as well as during the um, forum and or tutorial Zoom time that you have in tutorial. So this schedule is dated uh, for good reason and you should simply allow yourself to try to keep up with that um, 
schedule so that by the time the midterm comes around you've kind of accomplished studying simply by keeping up with the material and the same thing goes for your final exam the better you keep up with the material really the less last minute studying you have to do um, luckily both your midterm test and your final test are take home given the remote nature of this course it was something that really I had to contemplate whether it was a good idea and um, that is the uh, kind of conclusion I came up to so you will for example have your take-home exam or your take-home test distributed on October 16th during fall reading week so if you look at the course syllabus you'll see that and your final exam will be distributed to you on December 4th so uh, midterm you will be submitting that on October 23rd and your final exam you'll be submitting that one week after the end of class so December 11th um, and any other uh, interesting information that you have about the logistics of the course, uh, about email by communication, uh, communication by email, um, it's all here. So have a really um, uh, close look at the syllabus a couple of times, as well as looking through the course page as well. Um, and I'll just leave that here for now.